two that really scare me are finance and elections. With finance, what's going on is that all your social media data, your medical data, and all this stuff is being sold through a million third parties and being collated and collated, and it's used to help target you with offers for finance and insurance and other services like that. And then the other one with elections, I'm really worried about democracy turning into a contest about who has the biggest computer. Elections can use big data to analyze voters. It's a nasty, tricky, underground, murky business. I had the all-night shift at a donut place. I worked in a crew that broke up rocks and as part of road building. For a while, I worked for a door-to-door -door marketing thing, and then I worked for a telemarketer in the very early era. Uh, very early form of telemarketing. I mean, my best job is what I do now. I mean, I love being a researcher, I love writing, I love playing music. I just happened to be consulting to a health insurance um, company, the biggest one in the country, in the, in, uh, the early 90s, when the CEO realized that big data meant that it suddenly everything changed, that you made more profit from insuring fewer people instead of more people because you could be selective. And that moment, that when it hit him, I realized, oh my God, <laughs> we screwed up. I've set myself a goal of having a clout score of zero. I mean, the moment I sign up for anything, my clout score will, will creep up, and that's just not acceptable to me. My cat does sign up for some of them. She likes that stuff, but she's kind of a social cat, and I don't judge, I don't judge. If somebody says something that makes you feel bad, screw them. I'm a father now, I have a seven-year-old. I want her to be a free person who can invent herself in a thousand ways in a world that's generally working and happy. You can't have some kind of isolated success in a castle in a society that's unhappy and call that success. And we're kind of headed in that direction and it's no good for anybody. The irony is that it turns out when people have their bitcoins st stolen, who do they turn to but the government? <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, this idea that we're going to have this freestanding um, uh, emergent cyber structure that makes government obsolete, uh, where everybody is just, uh, you know, surviving on their own encryption and there's no generally agreed structure. I mean, it's stupid. <laughs> it's stupid. It's not going to work. I think it has huge failings. And yet there are really interesting ideas in it. And I think it's a worthy experiment. Well, I don't know offhand, but there is this book you can get. <laughs> and I, I think the answer's in there somewhere.